The race for the White House, former Vice President Mike Pence is officially running, and today he wasted no time taking aim at his former boss, arguing that Donald Trump should never be president again. Rachel Scott in Iowa tonight. Please welcome Mike Pence. Tonight, former Vice President Mike Pence formally launching his 2024 campaign in Iowa, zeroing in on Donald Trump's actions on January 6th and delivering his strongest criticism yet of his former boss. President Trump also demanded that I choose between him and the Constitution. Now voters will be faced with the same choice. I chose the Constitution, and I always will. It's the first time in more than 80 years that a former vice president is challenging the president he served under. Pence, who was once known for his deep loyalty to Trump, now says he's unfit to serve. Anyone who puts themselves over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. And anyone who asks someone else to put them over the Constitution should never be president of the United States again. The Republican field is only growing larger. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum also jumping in today. I'm officially announcing I'm running for the president of the United States of America. 12 candidates now in the race. Trump's still the clear front runner. There's some in there that are, I don't know why they're running, to be quite honest. I love diversity, period. I think that, that, uh, that the cream is going to rise to the top. Happy to be back. Former New Jersey Happy Governor Chris Thank Christie you, announced his second bid for the White House in New Hampshire. A former advisor and friend of Trump now making the case against him. The person I am talking about who is obsessed with the mirror, who never admits a mistake, who never admits a fault, and who always finds someone else and something else to blame for whatever goes wrong, but finds every reason to take credit for anything that goes right, is Donald Trump. Here goes the race. Rachel joins us now live from Iowa, where Mike Pence, of course, announced his campaign. The Republican field now up to uh, 12 candidates. You don't need me to tell you that, Rachel. But what is the talk within Republican circles with the field already this large? Because we all know uh, the size of the field was a dynamic that helped Donald Trump leading up to 2016. Exactly, David. And many say such a crowded field back in 2016 helped Donald Trump emerge as the front runner in that race and that it could help him once again. Some of those long shot candidates have a lot of work to do to close the gap or even make the debate stage. David. Rachel Scott traveling the country live from Iowa tonight. Rachel, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.